Hello ducklings, hope you're well today and welcome back to Far Cry 1, the 10th episode! Yay! We've officially made 10 of these rubbish episodes. I hope you enjoyed the last one with the montages, like memes and everything. This video will not have any of that. We're back to a plain little fun Far Cry. Can you hear me, Jack? Yeah, I'm here. What is it? Jack, the area's full of trigens. Looks like they're mutating humans, not just animals. Don't come down here. It's far too dangerous. What? Doyle, what are you gonna do? You can't just leave her down there to die. There aren't a whole lot of options, Jack. Hell, she's halfway across the island from you. Can you lead me to her? I can give it a shot. Right then, I'm going in. So after blowing up Regulator, Val is again in trouble. So we've again got to go halfway across the island to go and save her. Clearly this game should be called Far From Val Cry. <laughs> Far from Val Cry. I actually had to edit a lot of this video, and you'll probably see a few clips jumping. Um, because I got lost again on this one. <laughs> oh, it seems to be a very common theme of me getting lost in these games. But because it's not an open world game, there's a lot more of a linear shooter. It's not that fun watching me get lost, so it's, uh, edit out, make it me look good. Anyway, in the last episode, we actually picked up a new weapon. I'm holding in my hands right now is the G36 assault rifle. This assault rifle comes with a scope and it comes with a grenade launcher. Up until episode like or mission 16, 17, I hadn't figured out how to use the scope. It turns out to use the scope, you simply stand still and hold the right click button. The moment you start moving, it unaims you. Well then, science, revolutionary, baby steps to, baby steps, this is 2004. So we've got to go and find Val in the archive. Now this isn't going to be for a few missions, but we have to make our way to her again. And as we heard in the beginning, the Trigens are mutating humans now. So we'll probably see some really evil Trigens later on in this episode. If you remember back a few episodes ago, we actually seen some big beefy like Dwayne the Rock Johnson um, Trigens. So we might even see maybe one of those this episode. Go for the G36 is its high rate of fire. Very nice compared to the M4, and it has that grenade launcher attachment. Again, very handy. There is, however, two more assault rifles to come. So, and they are the final two weapons in the game. I thought that was a Trigen then, but there's a bit of smoke. Always very handy. See, unlike the M4, the M4 is quite good at hit fire. The G36 is not. It is quite trash. And I have none of my guns reloaded. Oh, reload your guns. Uh -huh. There we go. Yeah. The reason that I did last episode in a slight montage kind of death funny scenes um, was particularly because that part in the um well the scene the scene where it was i thought would particularly suit it very well and there is not sadly a scene like this in this one it's just me getting lost that's been edited out as well as me dying once or twice but not to the same extreme or level as the previous one no it's not that one you'll run all the way through now as it turns out I thought I'd leave me getting lost at least once or twice. Just so you don't make the same mistake. But 10 episodes. 10 episodes we've made now. Again, big massive thank you. For support. Of just commenting, liking and subscribing. Woo! Woo! Hope 
Vader Crisis series can get just as much like as the Far Cry one. Mind you, Far Cry is a, I feel like, a much bigger name than the Crisis series. The Crisis series has kind of dropped since 2012, 13, Crisis 3. I've actually never played Crisis 3 all the way through. I've never played actually Crisis 2. Maybe some games on the list. I've actually got one of my first requests as well. To play the old Splinter Cell games. Dated back to 2003, Sam Fisher, Ubisoft game. Ugh, Ubisoft. Oh. Ah, but how's that Valve? 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 Mm. I hear Trojans. Ah, uh, there they are. Come on, jump! Make my, make my <laughs> he fell to his death! Superb! Ah, ladders! This way you can never get ladders right in game. They either stick to them like glue or. Really Really legal! Hmm. Can't quite go. No. <laughs> I think he might have jumped off and joined his friend. Oh, that was risky. But I just wanted to have some fun with these things. We. After taking many hours, we're finally moving on. Where'd you come from? That means trigens. No, not tridents. They're trigens. Nice bit of rapid fire. I hate these, like, air conditioning, whatever you want to call them. Oh! Just reminds you to film Alien, which I hate horror film. Horror? Horror? We hate horror films, we do. horror films. That's me trying to learn a scope by the way. It hasn't clicked in my brain that you need to stand still to be able to scope it fine. I think that's a stunt. That is a stunt. Excellent. No, you can't blow that up. You've got to go this way. No, no, an elevator seat. You hear something? What happened here? Ah, where did he come from? handy. Now I reloaded this checkpoint because I knew that I needed my health a bit later on. My gut feeling was tingling. You see something? Spidey Get senses. In. Here we go. Now where is that guy? The guy there. There he is. And as you can see, 
Did he immediately started jumping at me. And oh darn. <laughs> ah, take three. What was that? What was that? Oh, no. I have no idea. What was it? Why is there two of them now? Hmm, door's not open this time. Ah, I know which way you're going to come now, so preempt the grenade. Ow! Did you download Commando Pro while you were at it? NW2 reference. Call of Duty bug is kicking in. <laughs> For actually come from pre-ordering the game to pre-ordering the enhanced edition. Oh dear. Any level with Trigens is a bad level. Literally, Trigens are therefore some of my worst enemies to face in the game ever. Mm, this looks like some vile labs, and I sense spidey senses. Was there health or anything around here? Is there anything this way? What's this way? Another save. <sighs> <laughs> What's through the doorway? It turns out a hail of bullets. Uh, let's reload. <laughs> let's go back and try again. If first you don't you succeed, you try again. I'm gonna lay the smack down on you. Time and you fell just as badly. Oh, hang on. Hang on. If you notice there's two types of those small trigens, <laughs> they lift it back up and it's like, nope. Nope, you're not dealing with us. There's two types of trigens. There's like a, a small hunch one and there's a big hunch one. And I think they both do different types of damage. You really want to get hit by the small ones. Not the big one. Well, you don't want to get hit at all by them, but there's some ammo there. There's nothing around now. We don't choice to make. Yeah, go to right or left. Decision making in early games. Whatever works, throw grenades. I think we're <laughs> physics. Oh. Oh. Where are they? Where did that guy run up here? Oh, there he is. I think I got them all. See, grenades! See Highly worth it. Oh, no, he just did. Remember, kids? Growls. Walkways block bullets. This is a newer game. Okay, you're just gonna walk into bullets. Cool, that's cool. That's cool. If you take them out via headshot, you do actually get more armor that they drop. Tip for you. Doyle, these things are huge. What the hell are they? I've heard some rumors. The Mercs call them fat boys. Watch out for them. They're heavily armed. Fat I boys? I figured that part out myself. <sighs> Remember we were on about earlier on that we might see one of these big boys? Yeah, this is what they are. They basically have rocket launchers strapped to them. I don't want to go that way. It saved the game. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. I don't care if I get shot. Over there! Take this! Oh. Okay, did go this way, some help. Ah. Nice. Nice. More fat boys. Is that a trident I hear? See this doorway is blocked. Try, Jinsa. 
That's good. Looks like I'm going to have to go to save point, way. It does amaze me, you think. The same year of this come out, and the CryEngine has always been praised for how good it is. That on this same year, is the same year Half Life 2 come out. Now, comparing the games side by side, Half Life's graphics seem so much nicer and so much better. Half Life's physics engine is also so good. Spotting me. I'm not too sure what it is. I think it's a charge in like one of the side off rooms. Anyway, pressing on. A minigun emplacement. This seems important. I best dive on it. Is anyone getting a Rambo sensation here? Now I'm thinking that's it. No, it wants to. No, dive on the machine gun, dive on the machine gun. There it is, a ton of trigens that come at this point. Including a fat boy. The best thing to do with these is aim at the centre of their chest. At the centre green spot of their chest. Something? Is where they're most vulnerable. Picture them like a fat Iron Man, but that green is actually so uh, a vital thing to take out. Ooh, cheeky, cheeky diving. Whoa! Where'd you come from? And that's why, boys, you should try to clear out all the rooms. Thank you. That door. It's a trigen. Not just one, no. Two. And not just two. Three. And not just three, but four. Ah. Right. Here we go again. Dive on the machine gun. It needs some like rocking music here. It's rock and roll. Oh, shut up. Now, the rockets are actually really slow and you can dodge them if you're not stupid. And you just stay on the gun and you can't see them because you're blaring up a lot. Oh! What was that? What was that? I have no idea. I think you're dead. <laughs> Shoot, I waved him around. Come at me, Trigen! <laughs> the best thing about this minigun is it doesn't overheat. So you can fire it. Fire it. You can fire it. And you can fire it. Let's get ready to rumble! Nice. Reload your gun. What makes me laugh is there's a bunch of mercenaries in that room that didn't come out when all the gunfire was going on. And I'm thinking, there's four trigens in there. And they didn't even take him out as health fair. Let's make sure my guns are reloaded this time. Is my SMG reloaded? Doesn't matter, we're going in. Two. Count with me. Three. There's the fourth one. And he reaches me through the kitchen sink. Question marks. Is there any hiding in the toilets? No. Excellent. 
Onwards and upwards we go. Notice how the music sounds a lot like Far Cry 2. Like many movies, it's booming boom 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 boom. That's a terrible interpretation of Far Cry 2 soundtrack, but you know. No, 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 no. We cleared out that room. It's you! I'm gonna shoot you in the face! Shoot you in the face. Four trigons! Isn't it funny, like, how Far Cry 1 and Crisis 1 both kind of play and evolve the same way? Where? Where Far Cry 1 starts off that kind of mercenary on the island, you don't really know what's going on. Dude. Full on mutants to crisis arriving on the islands of special forces, fighting Korean soldiers, and then discovering that there's aliens. Every difference is you learn that there's aliens quite quickly <laughs> compared to there's mutants. Well, I guess it depends on how you mean how quickly, because you can see photos of tritons in the, in the huts in the earlier episodes. Hello. Look, okay. There you go. Right, time to go down. Find this doorway. Get out of here. Oh no! He's coming to say hello. Hey, it looks like he's got a friend down there. Oh well, he did have a friend. Now, where is this doorway? Again. Thank you to everyone for your amazing continued support, and I'll catch you ducklings in the next episode. Fly safe.